The lesson that we will discuss is on energy system that is for quarter one, week one, module one. This is for hope three, grade 12 students. For this lesson, we have the following objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to first, know the meaning of energy system, Second, identify the different kinds of energy system. The last one, discuss the importance of energy system in dance. What is energy system? Well, energy system refers to the specific mechanism in which energy is produced and used by your body. The human body uses energy from food to fuel movements and essential body functions, but the body cells don't get energy directly from food. After food is digested, the carbohydrates, protein, and fats break down into simple compounds, glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids, which are absorbed into the blood and transported to various cells throughout the body. Within these cells and from these energy sources, adenosine triphosphate or ATP is formed to provide fuel. Now, let us have our simple recall. What is ATP? Well, ATP means adenosine triphosphate. This is a molecule that provides energy for all movement. The body breaks down ATP to fuel our movements like standing, racing, and climbing. So now, what is the function of phosphagen system? Definitely, phosphagen system harnesses ATP for highly intense activities that last 10 to 30 seconds. Therefore, explosive activities such as leap over fire, jumps over barrier, and sprints, your body is engaging the phosphagen system for energy. Another one, we have glycolytic system. The glycolytic system uses carbohydrates to produce ATP. Activities lasting 30 seconds to 3 minutes are primarily fueled by this system. Imagine a boxing round which lasts 1 to 3 minutes. Now remember... If glycolytic system uses carbohydrates to generate energy, oxidative system dips into other macronutrients like fats and protein. The oxidative system is aerobic and uses oxygen to help with energy production. For longer training sessions, including distance running, you really need to rely on the oxidative system. The oxidative system as well is heavily engaged in low to moderate to intensity activities. Now this is the biggest question. Which system really matters? Now everyone keep in mind that all energy systems are active at all times during activity. Your body stores a limited amount of ATP. So, the three energy systems work together to provide the energy that you need in order to keep moving.